Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are thinking to yourself, why does she look so weird? It's because I have like no makeup on. I have eyeliner and then some mascara and that's literally it. I threw it on this morning because I had an errand to run pretty early in the morning. And then I knew I planned to do this video. Because I've been promising a Halloween costume video for plus size women slash anybody who wants to take this. Because I like I always said you can take... It's just an idea and anyone can do it any, of any size. But I'm just going to call it plus size because I am plus size. If you get what I'm saying here. So now I just kind of want to run through what you're going to need to pull off this Halloween costume. And then I will show you what I look like full dressed and whatnot and I'm kind of gonna try to go through steps of how to paint your face for this look from the title you know I'm doing Scar from The Lion King. I love Disney villains and um I've done two the past couple of years. Scar I was Scar last year for Halloween so I just want to kind of show you how I interpreted him for a Halloween costume. Oh god I look like hell. This is kind of how I did Scar. Let's get into it so I stop talking in your ear off. First thing you're gonna need is a wig. I bought a wig from Party City. It looks kind of blah right now because it's been in my closet for the last year. And I, I believe it costs about $30. Obviously to go to the wig, you're gonna need, if you have hair like me, you're gonna need a wig cap. This was like $2 or $3 from Party City. I did have a Cowardly Lion costume that I bought years ago online when it was like super cheap. Shocking, it came in the mail and it barely fit me because of my boobs. And when I was trying to zip, my mom was trying to zip it up, it the zipper broke. So it was very chintzy, very cheap, and yeah. So I had his mane for a while. So what I did was I cut off the ears and then I took a headband and I painted it, painted it black. And I hot glued his ears on, or the ears, onto this headband. And then at Joann Fabrics, I bought material that more was the um, color of Scar's fur, what I kind of think his color is. And I cut it out and I wrapped it around and just hot glued it on different sections until I covered it. If you can kind of tell, you can see like there's the original fur for the Cowardly Lion. So that's just what I did. Ooh, wrong way. Then you will also need, obviously, as a lion, I can't find it. And then what you're going to need is a tail. I believe I bought this tail at Target for like $3 last year. And all I did again was use the same fabric to cover up the tail and I just hot glued it. And I think this is actually, let me see if I can kind of tell. I kind of think this was, yeah, it was a zebra tail because I wanted the tip to be black and I didn't want to have to dye anything. So I bought the zebra tail, got the orange material, wrapped it around and just hot glued it right on. And then I used a little safety pin to safety pin it to the, my butt area of this dress. It's a maxi dress from Forever 21. I got it last year, I think summertime last year. And to me, it was the color of Scar. That's what it looked like to me. And then it's a little bit cinched in the waist and it's just a maxi dress. Now for your face, you are going to need face paint. So my favorite brand is the Maron. I think that's how you pronounce it, Maron. Hopefully you can see that, not blinding you. I am, you're gonna need white, you're gonna need brown, and there's not a lot left here. So I did end up going to, um, excuse me, I did end up going to Party City and I bought like the brand that they had. I bought brown and you're gonna need an orange cause you're gonna mix the brown and the orange to hopefully get this color. That's what you're aiming to do. Um, I don't know how great these are, but I was in the area of Party City and I bought them because I said good enough. You're going to need black and I ended up buying this a couple couple years, I think two years ago. This big black bottle of face paint. I just got the big bottle because I do, I've done a few looks and why not invest in the good amount. And then you're going to need red for the scar area. What are you doing? Goodbye Lola. Side note. Most of you know I film my videos using my iPhone and I have an iPhone 5C so it's old and it doesn't store a lot of stuff so I can't like record myself painting my whole face so I'm just gonna kind of do it in steps and like show you like this is what I did this is what I did this is what I did and then my whole look I think that's pretty much all I got oh yes and I'm going to link in the description box the video, I can't, I don't know her YouTube channel name, but she posted it two years ago of her doing Scar, and I, that's kind of the video that I watched to know how to do it myself. So I'll link it below so you can kind of see the full thing since I can't show you myself because poor people problems and I don't have the technology to do so. Okay, 
So the first step is pretty much finished. Now what you're going to want to do is I mixed the brown with the orange. Yes. To get this color, it's not exactly how I did it. The shade is kind of off, but it's as best as I'm going to get. I'm not going to fight it because I'm done fighting that. But you just want to outline kind of the area, different colors of his face. Like you're making a coloring book. So in here will be the orange, out here will be black, and here will be like the yellow white. So it's just kind of like the gist. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just kind of an outline and a guide for you. Okay, so at this point I have filled in most of the face. I just have to do the black now. So what I did was, the mouth is a little off and where and the scar is a little off. So I'm doing the best I can and I have paint all over my hands. But what I did was, I, obviously I took some of the brown orange and I filled in that area. And inside of the eye is brown mixed with a little bit of black. And then you just want to put it all over and like shape out, obviously like, the shape of the eye and then outline everything in black. Again, I'm sorry I can't show you step by step. Also, to, I did the best with the nose. The nose to me is the hardest freaking part because I always feel like it doesn't look correct, but it is what it is. Now I have to go back in and take black and do it all around my face and then I will show you the full reveal of the outfit. Again, please check out the video that I linked below because she shows the makeup literally step by step much better than I can, I'm sorry. <laughs> So that is everything. Hopefully this gave, they gave you a good gist of how to pull off a scar costume. <sighs> this was a lot of work and I'm going to wash it off, which seems like a waste, but I feel like if I went out like this in public, people would think I'm crazy. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more. I hope this inspires you to do your own scar look. You don't have to do it exactly like I did. The makeup and then like jeans and a shirt will get the job done. I really like this look. I love Disney villains, so if you do, let me know which one's your favorite in the comments below. Also, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, you will want like a little black jacket. This is just a little black pleather jacket that I had to wear over your arms because you're not gonna feel wanna paint your whole arms because this stuff clearly gets icky after a while. But I hope, I really, really hope you like this. I'm sorry it so, so, took so long. Took so long, I can talk. That's it, that's everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. Okay, till next time. Bye, guys. Be prepared. Ah! I hate myself a little bit. Just a little bit.